So welcome back to Subtech Online. It's me again, Zabit Christopher, to take you through how we create a gate chart. So the gate chart you see here, you can include it in your reports dashboards, and uh, this one will be uh, acting as a KPI uh, of a certain parameter you include in your report. So always, uh, this is a useful feature we use to track progress uh, in uh, KPIs. So the moment this value changes, which will have linked to any of the values you're picking up, the moment this value changes to 45, uh, the indicator or the pointer will change to 45 dynamically. If we change this to 87, uh, it will automatically change to 87. So we have done this in three portions, and uh, our minimum is zero, that is at, the, at this point, then our maximum is 100%. Uh, so we are considering the total of all this to be 200. The 100 will be the lower portion. Uh, then the pointer, the pointer, uh, it will it will be showing us the value, of the score, which is linked to that. Then we shall have the pointer thickness, that is the black you see, which we are making one. When you change this to four, you see there is a change, so we shall keep it one. Uh, then this is the difference of the two and making sure that also this total total is 200 uh, 200%. So let's start. Okay, uh, so I've already uh, uh, cooked the values this side. Uh, what we start with, uh, you'll always make sure that you first portion the ranges, then our major point is on the value because this is the value change we are looking at. So as I've already told you, the thickness of the pointer, we shall give it 1%. Uh, then this will be equals to 200. Remember, as I've already told you, 200% uh, minus the value minus the thickness. Uh, this is a minus and this is a minus. So when I enter, this will be giving us the difference. Now we start with the ranges. I will select the whole of these ranges. Go to insert, insert a pie chart, but we shall go with donut. So I'll go with a donut chart. Uh, our donut chart, we don't need the legends. We delete them. We may need the, 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 the chart title at some point. Now, when you realize that the blue portion is the 100%, which we need to be the lower portion. So what do we do? Uh, right click on this format data series so format data series we shall get uh, a dialog options at the right uh, so this one uh, we shall increase the donut hole size to shall decrease this to 55 uh, then we shall rotate this uh, 270 degrees uh, such that uh, we have the lower portion at the bottom so the moment i rotate that to 270 uh, you see uh, this is how it rotates. So now what is the next? Go to format, uh, select your, your donut chart, go to format. Then we are going to reduce, we are going to remove the border, the border lining, that one you can use also this. So we have the fill and the border. So since it is all selected, I'll come to the border. We are making this one, no lines. So we don't need lines uh, uh, over the borders. Then you come and double click on the lower portion. We are changing this to, to no fill. So you come on fill, no fill. So uh, already this is the portion we have. So as I told you before, we have zero minimum, 25. This portion is 45, 25. This portion, the average is 50. Then the other last one is... Now, we want to make it as a, a, a traffic, like uh, for the traffic, good, bad, and uh, and average. So the bad, we are going to go with the red. So uh, I double click uh, the, the, the first portion, that is the 25, the bad. I will right click and fill this to red. So I will fill this to red. Then you go to the average, still you, you click twice. So you can also use this portion of fill. So you come and fill it here with a color. Uh, this one I'll go with yellow. Then the last one I'll go with a green. So, so far so good. That's what we have. So you can 
you can enlarge this uh, depending on how you want it to be so we have a chart area and a plot area so you can leave it at that point uh, so the next thing we are going to add now the pointer values so select your chart come on the on the chart type or chart design uh, select select data so we need to add the data of the pointer to that same chart so i will do select data you'll have a dialog box for select data sources so we are going to add data so i will say add then it will open a uh, edit series what is the name the name i'm taking this then what are the series values i will be selecting uh, these series values then i will do okay and okay now you see as if it has messed everything out but uh, just keep calm so you'll select the chart now that is the the upper one or the outer one which we have just created you see the pointer values are selected uh, you go to chart design then you say change chart type so when you click on change chart type this dialog will open so we don't need all of them to be donuts so the point for it we shall change this one to the normal chart type and we shall okay this so that's what you get uh still the same thing we already have our pointer which means at the end of the day uh the others we are going to change them to no fill so you'll come to uh fill options seri options so you do no fill to all the borders that's the first thing we start with then you, you you second click on the first portion you know fill it then even the other portion you know fill it so at the end of the day we remain with a pointer click on the pointer though it will be hard to select so when you click on the pointer change this to black so such that it is visible enough so after changing this to black uh, remember that uh, we changed the other chart uh, the pie chart to 270 and also we are also supposed to change this to 270 so i'll go to the series option you change the angle to 270 we have to rotate it so this is 270 so uh 270 so when you check the value it is 34 then the 34 must be lying here then this is 50 the other one is 100 so that is it so far so good now what do we need next we need uh, a value so i will select the needle or the pointer uh go to uh, chart elements you add uh, you add uh, data labels so you see when i try to add data labels it is pointing at the end so i will only select the the needle then add data labels i will say put this one outer end and uh, this is it because it is showing you one percent uh, but remember you need this one to be presenting the score so when i click on this again come in the formula bar say equals to link it to the score and when you enter that is a 34 uh, which means if i change this to 67 it will be changing to 67 uh, if you change this to 95 it will be changing to 95 so uh, when you select this uh, the moment i move it further you'll see that it is having uh, a lead a lead line so you'll come to uh, chat options you come to numbers uh, label options then you s there is this show leader line so the leader lines i will remove them so such that it is free so i can extend it there uh, increase this font bold it a uh, control b and so far so good which means when i change this to 35 it changes to 35 when i change this to 57 it moves to 57 so i can move the chart now to the left then i'll say equals to i also link the chart to my header which is this so i enter and that is it uh, so what is next so we have changed the chart you can have this in blue okay then i can look for what else i can look for uh, let's get a symbol i can remove this left uh, border chart border so just click on it come on fill you say no borderline so the border disappears okay now 
the next thing i don't want to be entering the value from here the value should be maybe coming from another 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 cell so i will insert my rows there then i will say here uh, telling users insert value or score then I'll call this so this is where we are going to insert the value so i can merge this and center i can give it a border such that uh, it is visible to anyone who will be inserting the value i can have it light blue so we are inserting the value here so uh, which means if i enter 57 i don't see any change but remember this has to be in percentage so when i enter 57 it has to be showing 57 percent so which means i will link this to the other one so i will say this one is equal to that cell such that i only limit the user to insert here the value or this value may be a computation from somewhere else it can be a pivot such that every time i change a slicer uh, these details will be changing and my pointer will be moving so when i change now this to 68 you see it changes to 68 when i change this to 85 it changes that to 85 uh, so beautifying this i i can insert we go and insert an icon if you're using office 365 excel 365 it has icons go to icons search for customer uh, so when i search for customer it will bring icons i'll take this insert my icon uh, so this is the icon i can place it here then give it a color uh, a graphic feel a color of blue then what else i can insert my rounded border so you come to shapes you insert a rounded border here and this is it okay send this one backwards you can send this one backwards uh give it a background of white so we shall change the shape fill to white and uh, this chart we shall be changing it to a fill of no fill so that is it guys so you can go ahead and select this by pressing a control select all of them uh right click and you group them like that such that when you move it it moves as one chart so uh please remember to hit the subscribe button like uh if this has been so important and it can be helpful to your daily reporting and please go ahead and comment if there is anything you have left behind we shall always come and make a video about it bye bye see you in the next video